In this tutorial you will learn how to move and control a machine. Let's get started with the LTM 1750. Click on the machine and you will see all movable parts of the machine. Symbolized by the black icons, we call them gizmos. To move the machine, click on the position gizmo. Either you move the crane in the XY area in the plane or use one of the arrows, the red or the blue one, to move only one axis. To rotate the whole machine, use the rotation gizmo. To rotate just the upper carriage, use this gizmo. As the selected crane has a slewing range of 360 degree, there is no limitation of the slewing range. Each movement of the crane has an impact on the machine's information, such as the ground forces. This is visualized in the panel on the right side. For details about this panel, please watch the machine information tutorial. Let's get back to the gizmos. If you want to expand the telescopic boom length, click on this gizmo. The crane will instantly move to the next pin position in the scene. The parameter panel lets you choose out of all pinning options for this specific machine in this specific configuration. To boom up or down, use the main boom angle gizmo. The utilization of the crane is visualized in green, yellow or red. As we have no load attached, the full range of available angles is marked in green. If you want to change the luffing jib, use the luffing jib gizmo. If you want to move the vario base, select one of the outriggers. At the LTM 1750 you can define the angle. The outrigger levels are defined in the parameter panel. Check the machine information with the ground forces to see the impact of your outrigger movement. If you want to move the hook or an rigged load, please select the hook first. Then click the hook height gizmo and move it to the needed position. Additional to the gizmos we know so far, the crane has a context menu where you can reconfig, rename, duplicate, lock or delay the crane itself. The LR1300.1 comes with very similar gizmos. There is the position and rotation gizmo as well. One of the new features of the new crawler cranes is the 360 ground bearing pressure visualization. If you select the upper carriage gizmo, the application shows a visualization where you directly see the impact of the crane's slewing rotation on the ground bearing pressure as a forecast. The highest value, which is red highlighted, is over the side and the lowest value is at 90 degree. The more the center of gravity is off-centered, the higher the maximum ground bearing pressure will become. If the center of gravity of the crane is totally centered, the 360 ground bearing pressure visualization has the shape of a circle. The main boom angle gizmo allows you to move up or down the main boom. As we selected the mode 4 crawler crane with main boom and luffing jib configuration with the jib as a load position, the jib gizmo shows the utilization according to the angle and the radius. Both the angles at the jib and the outreach on the ground are indicated in the same colors. To show you this behavior, I rigged an object to the hook. If the capacity is exceeded or the machine will overload, this status is visualized in orange or red. For details about how to rig a load on the hook, please watch the rigging tutorial. The LR1300.1 can be set into machine erection position. To do so, please choose in the machine info panel the option boom position and select boom up and down. As a result, the crane in the scene is shown in takeoff position and the ground bearing pressure distribution for this state is shown in the machine info panel. In this tutorial, we learned how to move a machine either in the scene or via the parameter panel. In the next tutorial, you will get familiar with the machine information.